I met with this really amazing client of mine who I've had for a really long time and she and I can totally talk turkey and she has had the worst experience with a very large financial institution that processes billions of dollars probably daily and they just can't seem to get their act together. So the problem for this particular client, she loved her mom, her mom passed away, she's now dealing with the mom's estate. The financial advisor who filled out the original application for this particular financial product got mom's birthday wrong and got the name of the trust wrong. And so now it has been her mission for like the past nine months to deal with these people at this financial institution where you're on hold for an hour and a half, you never get the same person twice, they give you the wrong information, they send things to the wrong address, then you call back and oh, that was the wrong form. It's just, it has been an absolute nightmare for her. So aside from the waste of time, sheer time and frustration, the thing that she told me when she was breathing in and saying, oh, I'll just call them again tomorrow. She said, you know what the most frustrating thing about this whole thing is? The most frustrating thing about this whole thing is that every time I have to call these people, it's so frustrating and I have to relive my mom's death. I cannot get my mom's death in the rearview mirror of life. I can't process it. I can't just completely be at peace because I have this hanging chad. I have this account that's, you know, too large to ignore, right? So I, I've got it. I can't just let it, you know, the apple fall off the truck. I've got to collect this money and deal with these people. And I just, it's like almost traumatizing. And, you know, I know what it's like to be on hold with these financial institutions. I help clients, you know, get money all the time from some of these large bureaucracies, but I haven't lost a parent yet. And so listening to her tell me that it just adds insult to injury to deal with these rich, difficult, untrained, bureaucratic institutions and then I have to relive my mom's death and, 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 and get no resolution from it. So um, my suggestion to you is um, if you're doing your estate planning, no little ministerial or administrative task is too small to overlook. Make sure the beneficiary designations are correct. Make sure all the information, the name of your trust, the name of the beneficiaries, their social security number, all of the underlying information, make sure it is accurate because it is hard enough to collect these monies from large banks and financial institutions. Some of these administrative hassles make life even that much more difficult. I'm Stephanie West, I'm an estate attorney, but I'm not your attorney. So do yourself a favor and find yourself a lawyer you love.